So like how mad would you guys be if I started a video chewing an Oreo really loudly into the mic? Like, would you be mad enough to unsubscribe or is that something I'm allowed to do? This video was inspired by a post I saw on Twitter. Twitter is a great place for art discourse. I learned lots of really dumb art opinions and just arguments over there. Um, so the post in question is going to be on the screen right now in which somebody was saying that an artist who does realism is more skilled than an artist who does not. It's gonna be right there, you can see it right there. Um, yeah, that was something fun that I saw. <laughs> I think they might have commented more, um, but I didn't screenshot that. I don't know. I, I don't take this person's opinions and statements too, you know, um, too seriously, just because they also said that the virus is not real right now. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not really, uh, I don't really trust this person's thinking. <laughs> but yeah, that inspired this video. I will be talking about my unpopular art opinions. Honestly, I don't really have a lot, so some of these might not feel that unpopular. If they're not, I'm sorry, I tried my best. If you agree with me, that's great. If you don't agree with me, that's also great. Um, these are all just opinions. Go ahead and comment what you think of them below as well. I don't care if you agree or not. So. The first thing I want to talk about, obviously, like I said just now, is that uh, just because somebody does realistic art, it doesn't mean they are superior. I think all forms and art styles of art is, you know, requires a lot of skill. Just because you can't accomplish one of those styles doesn't mean that, you know, somebody who does is more skilled or anything like that. And, you know, some people just can't, you know, it's the people who are, you know, some people who are good at realism might suck at surrealism. Wait, why did I say it like that? At surrealism. Is that a word? It's starting to not sound like a word. Whereas somebody who's really good at surrealism might suck at realism. I know there are other forms of art. I just, it's just been a long time since I've been in an art class. But uh, yeah, I just feel like uh, we need to chill out. And uh, just because you can replicate real life really well in an illustration does not mean that you are more skilled than somebody who prefers to not do that art style or who can't accomplish that. I mean, also I believe, I mean, not only that I believe, but I'm pretty sure this is a widely accepted statement that art is like subjective. And so you are obviously allowed to have preferences. Um, it doesn't mean you are right though. So you saying that somebody who can do this is more skilled or is a better artist than this, blah, 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 whatever. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean just because you said it, it's correct. I feel like somebody can look at that, your favorite artist and be like, uh, actually they kind of suck, but this person's really good. Like, I feel like both, maybe not suck, maybe that's not the right word, but like your favorite artist might be a god in your eyes, but it doesn't mean that somebody else has to also agree that their art is amazing. Just because, you know, because you not everybody has the same, preferences with art that's not i know like i said that's not an unpopular opinion but i just really wanted to get that out of the way because that is what inspired the video moving on okay so let's get to an opinion of mine that might be unpopular i'm not actually sure because i haven't seen a lot of people talk about this but um we'll, we'll find out in the comments i personally believe that you should not have to be good at art in order to be able to criticize it um i've seen this a lot where somebody will give criticism to an artist or something and then the artist or their friends or whatever retorts by saying you know oh is this your art and it's not very good or i want to see you do something like this or i want to see you do something better um i feel like that isn't like a valid argument to criticism i feel like the same thing can be said with movies and video games but like that argument isn't really made as often so you can watch a movie and know that it was not good at all but that doesn't mean that you should be able to prove that you can make a better movie in order to say that it was a bad movie you know what i'm saying is that am i making it more complicated but yeah like just because somebody isn't great at drawing doesn't mean that they're not allowed to say that somebody else's art like the anatomy is off you know like i can tell when anatomy is off but i myself am terrible at anatomy <laughs>
<laughs> Trust me, I know I'm very bad at anatomy. Um, but you know, something along those lines, like you shouldn't have to prove your own skill in order to be able to give criticism to somebody else. And obviously, you know, I know that not all criticism is valid. Like if you're saying your art sucks and you suck and you're a bad person, like obviously that doesn't, that's not criticism. I mean like valid criticism in which somebody kind of understands what they're talking about. Yeah, I feel like they shouldn't have to prove their skill in order to say something like that. That was too long-winded, but I just, I don't know. That's my opinion. Um, I've seen a lot of people talk against that, though. So, like, if you don't agree, let me know. If you agree, let me know. Whatever. Here's an opinion that is not as unpopular as it used to be, which is that traditional art is real art and should be appreciated more than digital art. Traditional art is a lot harder than digital art, therefore you it requires more skill. And digital art is super easy, the computer does it for you. Uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I do not believe in any of it, if that wasn't <laughs> obvious from all of my art. I actually used to believe that when I was younger, I thought the computer did everything for you, and then I tried it myself, and I was like, oh, geez, okay, never mind, this is a completely different thing. Um, obviously, like I said, it's not as unpopular now, but it does depend on the age, I feel like. A lot of older people still don't believe that digital art is real art. I still get a lot of people um, kind of talking down on me when I tell them that I do digital art. Um, you know what I really hate? <laughs> when somebody says, when they explain traditional art as drawn by hand or painted by hand or something by hand. Like, what exactly do you think I'm holding my tablet pen with? Like, my freaking butt cheeks or something like what i'm holding it with my hand as well it's just on a screen or a tablet or whatever you're using it's still by hand it's just not on paper or canvas or whatever the heck you think real art is uh yeah that's just something i wanted to put out there not that image specifically that i just might have maybe posted in your head but like yeah that's like i said that's not as unpopular as it used to be but like hey if you're watching this and you think digital art is not real um why are you here <laughs> here's one that might be unpopular because i was looking for some inspiration and a lot of people were against this I do not care for bases, you know, like DeviantArt bases. Apparently, they are very much hated upon. You know what? I, I, I don't really get why. People make them for others to trace over them or draw on top of them. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to use bases, to be honest. Um, I used to use them and I used to trace over them. That's how I used to use them. But a lot of people hate them and they're like, oh, they're bad. They're, you know, you're not going to be able to improve on art on your own art if you only use bases um which like i can kind of agree on like you should probably try to do your own stuff as well if you're mostly using bases um but i honestly think it's kind of innocent like as long as you're not taking credit for you know the whatever you're using like i feel like it's fine i don't know i just see a lot of hate on it <laughs> like i don't know why people are so upset about bases if there's some actual like valid argument to that that you believe in please leave in the comments but like as of right now i think they're pretty harmless and like if somebody wants to use a base and freaking go ahead that they're made to be used that way so yeah <laughs> another uh opinion i have that might be a little unpopular is um that just because somebody likes to buy adoptables it does not necessarily mean that they suck at art or that they might not be good at character designs or they're too lazy to design their own characters I like to sell adoptables, so obviously I'm biased. And I do like to sell them because I do... I mean, I, I agree with that some of people who buy adoptables, maybe they're not good at character designs or maybe they're not artists. So, like, it could be valid, right? But I don't think... Like, if you're an artist who likes to buy adoptables, I don't think it's necessarily because or only because you suck at creating characters yourself. I, I don't think I've ever bought an adoptable, but I've been tempted to because I like the design. Like some people just have different ways of designing characters and it doesn't necessarily mean that you yourself have to suck at it in order to buy them, you know? Like it doesn't mean you're bad, but maybe you just like this character design and you want it for yourself and you just don't want to steal 
that character design. Um, it doesn't mean that you're lazy, you're too lazy to design characters. Some people like to support the artist who's making adoptables. I just feel like there's so many reasons why, so many valid reasons that people buy adoptables and it doesn't mean that you're a bad artist. There you go. I don't think that's unpopular either, but I saw a lot of people arguing against it. So I don't know, maybe it's unpopular in that circle alone. And my last opinion, possible unpopular opinion, has to do with another Twitter post that I saw. It was, it, you know, it started off innocent at first. So this post was somebody saying, if you're shopping for an art kid, avoid getting them those, you know, big art kits because they suck. Um, get better versions and they listed a bunch of like higher quality products uh, so Okay, so first off I disagree that every artist hates them because I always loved them as a kid Even when I grew up and I understood that those products in there weren't that great like I still enjoyed them um, but then it got like really really like Really divided like some people were like some people can't afford all that good stuff and you know how dare you that it's so it's classist and then other people were like well they genuinely suck and buying an artist these this product this kit is like a slap in the face like you don't know your kid if you really think they want to use it like i don't know it was like so oh my god it was so bad um i feel like i was kind of like in the middle though my opinion is that uh you should be allowed to buy a kid an art kit and not worry that they hate you for it um I, I feel like, why would you shame somebody in buying an art kid, an art set, you know? Unless the kid, like, specifically told you, hey, I don't like the products in this art kit. Can you possibly buy me this other thing? I mean, if the kid tells you, obviously, art kids are kind of shy. Not all of them, <laughs> but, like, it, it's, pr it's a pretty common stereotype for artists to be shy. And so they probably didn't advocate for themselves. Uh, but I just feel like we shouldn't be shaming each other for liking these art kids or not liking them. Um, also, I'm al I'm also like a, a believer in um, working with what you have. And, you know, just because you have really nice art tools doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a better artist. It could help you for sure. Um, but just because you have cheaper things that aren't as good quality doesn't mean your art is going to automatically suck. Some people can really make it work and that's fine. If you can't, that's also fine. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just felt like when, when this was going around, I felt like my opinion wasn't very popular. But now that I think about it, I think I'm more, am I in the middle? Where am I on this? I really am a true neutral, am I? Am I? Woo. Can I speak English today, please? Oh, I'm just tired. I need an Oreo. I hate Oreos. Why am I eating them? I am here to tell you that as an art kid who grew up in a family that wasn't that rich, uh, but we're okay, uh, we had food at least, and, a t and tables, and a chair, and a roof over our head, that I 100% appreciated every single art kit I got, no matter how cheap they were. I always use them until I lost all of the pieces because that's always what happened for some reason. I did not, I'm not good at keeping my things. Maybe I'm just really easy to please. Yeah, I have no standards. I think that's it for this video. I know I'm gonna get so many comments that are like, these weren't even unpopular opinions because that's what I get in all of my unpopular opinion videos. Listen, they were unpopular at some point and they're definitely unpopular in certain circles. I know that for a fact. If you agree with them, then they're not unpopular. That's just how it is. So, please give me your unpopular opinions in the comments because I want to see. I want to see some really unpopular ones. Or I want to see some that I might agree with and be like, oh, I finally have an unpopular opinion, like, for real. So, give me some comments. Tell me if you agree or disagree. Whatever. I don't care. This art, by the way, in this video was of my favorite character, Kuro Tetsuro. But it sucks. I am not proud of it. I do like the colors, but god, I suck at drawing. I know this. But I'm trying my best. And that's all that matters. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!